our work right now on the planet is to bring honoring and sanctity to the invisible just as much as the visible. The invisible results are things like feeling good, things like feeling connected, things like our health, our well-being, a feeling of joy, pleasure. Embodiment can't be faked once you're in an open state where you actually can see through a clear lens. You know, you're not clouded by fear, you're not clouded by the amygdala, you're not clouded by society's news and all the fear-based stuff, and you're just with you. Then you get to decide where you think we actually are. Energy is information. We're here to experience the full spectrum. That worthiness is hard for you. There's nothing wrong with you. It is a muscle that we kind of have to learn how to access. You are not disempowered and you have power in every area of your life all the time. I believe that chronic illness is an opportunity for us to heal. Health, it's a choice. Listening to your body if you so choose. My prayer for the world would be that they would know the intimate love of God. Aloha and welcome to the Body and Soul Wisdom Podcast, formerly known as the Embodied Healing Self Podcast, with your host, Jen Mons. Join me each week for soul-inspired, conscious conversations around awakening to your soul purpose through five-element well-being. Thank you so much for joining in. Aloha, everyone. Welcome back to the Body and Soul Wisdom Podcast with your host, Jen Mons. Now, you may have noticed we took a few weeks off from the podcast We are celebrating over four years on the podcast, and many of you know if you follow me on social or in my newsletter that I have been traveling quite a bit lately. One of my values is freedom. It's why I love to work for myself, and as you know, I love to support women, and I wouldn't be able to do that if I wasn't supporting my very own two beautiful, thriving daughters, one who is stepping into her senior year at a college prep school in Hawaii, and the other one who is following her dream of being a professional surfer, which we travel around the world to support her surfing at a professional level at the age of 14. And so a lot of my travel has been for both of those girls. And what I teach, I stand in living in that flow. And somehow, interestingly enough, even though I traveled quite a bit, I was able to bring in more income than ever before. So thank you for joining me again on the podcast this week. And it's so nice to be back with you all in the studio. I am just so lit up and so excited right now. You know, when you have your favorite podcast that you listen to, My favorite podcast, although I love my podcast, of course, is the Wellness and Wisdom podcast with Josh Trent. You may remember him on my podcast in 2020, March of 2020, the first week of the pandemic, actually. And I just had him over for breakfast yesterday. And so it's one of those moments where you just realize your life is unfolding in bigger ways than you could have ever imagined. And I don't always think to share all those things, and I want to share more of that with you because I think that if you knew how magical your life would be, you might have a little bit more trust in yourself, and you might say yes to yourself, and you might try things. I always tell my girls, the answer is no if you don't try. Before we dive into this week's episode, I want to share with you that for the first time ever, I am hosting a retreat near my hometown in Northeast Florida. So it's going to be in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Now, many of you know I've hosted retreats ever since 2014. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'm an expert retreat facilitator. And this year, I have created a course, Sell Out Your Dream Retreat, and I've been mentoring other women to create their dream retreats which they are doing. Hannah has created retreats up in near Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Abby has created retreats in Costa Rica. Lindsay and Reagan co-facilitate retreat as well. So lots of people starting to dive into exploring how fun that can be and how 
it can be so rewarding, a rewarding way to create space for women to come together and a rewarding way to earn extra income and travel for you as well. I want to talk a little bit about how time management is a symptom. And because we're talking about time management is a symptom, we're going to keep this episode a little short today because I really want you to take this all in. The very first thing that I talk about with my clients is their relationship to time because what I teach is energy alignment. I have the soul wisdom imprinting method, the energy alignment method, and I really stand in helping women to let go of the hustle, the overwhelm, the proving themselves, the perfectionism, and into energetic alignment. And when I say energetic alignment, I mean energetic alignment on in all areas of our life through the inner work. So we're talking about our mental well-being, our physical, our emotional, our spiritual, and our financial well-being. When we are in alignment with our values, our balanced well-being reflects back to us by allowing us to live and thrive in prosperity, which means abundance in all of those areas of our life. Time management, when we, when we say we don't have time, most people, at least that I'm having conversations with these days, most people value their time over their money. A lot of people will equate time with money. Time equals money. For example, at work, that's what we've been taught. Like you clock in, you clock out. I work 40 hours a week. I work 50, 60. This is what I get paid. This is something that totally shifted for me a very long time ago when I left the corporate world and stepped into entrepreneurship because it's really about building for that next thing. So you're not really... And when I first started working for myself, I was paid for my time. I had an hourly rate for the first, oh, probably six years of coaching. And then I realized that the transformation that my clients were getting was worth a lot more than what I was charging. And so I began to shift my relationship with time and energy and alignment. And I want to talk about time management being a symptom because If you're in alignment, if you're choosing to use your time every day in the way that you want to, you're living in alignment with your values every day. You're taking aligned action and only aligned action towards the things that are getting you to your bigger vision, that are in alignment with your values, that reflect back to you. Your life will reflect back to you if you're in alignment. If you're misaligned, you're going to experience breakdowns in money, in health, in marriage, in relationships. And it's going to be really uncomfortable. If you're there right now, it's okay. It just means it's time to course correct. You don't get to living in a life of abundance and prosperity without course correcting because that's how you up level. But time management is a symptom of being overwhelmed and misaligned because all of a sudden you feel like there's not enough time to do all the things you want to do. And I want to invite you to consider that we are the source of time. You've heard me say this on the podcast before. You've heard me share the three questions I ask myself. Is this in alignment with me and my values? Is it the right time? And does it have to be me before I respond to anything? Now, as a formal people pleaser, I used to easily say yes to everything. Oh, I got this. I can do that because I could. And now that I've removed the word should for my vocabulary, the only time that I would use that word is to say that just because you can do something does not mean that you have to or that you should do it. The women I work with, the women that are listening to this podcast, men and women, thank you. I know that a a few of you are men out there listening to my podcast and I'm grateful for you as well. Although my my tribe, my clients are, are all women. But I know that you're awesome. You have a lot of skills. You have a a lot of things that you can do and you can do them really well. And guess what? You don't have to. A lot of times we're trying to control things and we're avoiding growth with our busyness. Our busyness is our greatest 
distraction, keeping us from the thing that we want most to step into in life. So I want to invite you in this moment to take a moment and pause and think about what am I avoiding by staying too busy that I really am ready to step into this year. And now let's talk about being the source of time. I want to I want to invite you to understand why you are the source of your time. Let's be curious about the idea that time does not exist in the etheric world. Okay, now we know that. There's no there's no measurement for time. Humans created that. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. 365 days in a year. That was created as a measurement for us to live within this dimension. We all get to choose how we use our time. I've talked about time before and sharing. Think about having five minutes as a little child that is newly potty trained and has to go to the bathroom and how long that five minutes seems to them. And then when you tell them that same three-year-old, you have five minutes left to play in the playground. It's not enough time. So we have the same amount of time. And it feels different. You could be 70 years old living your best life, literally living in freedom, in health, in joy. Or you could be 30 years old laying on your deathbed because you're stuck in overwhelm and sabotaging cycles. So I want to know, what do you think about your relationship with time? How is your relationship with time? Do you feel like there's enough? Do you find yourself managing your busy schedule or prioritizing your life through your values? I've been attracting and having a lot of conversations lately with people who have seemed very interested in how I've created time freedom with a successful coaching and mentorship business. And quite honestly, I'm a bit surprised by it as well, because I'm constantly being invited to question my own belief and revisit my own belief, which we talk about in my prosperity course, one of the major money blocks, especially for performers and high achievers, is that hard work equals success. And it works for so many of us for so long, and and although yes... Aligned to action is important and intention and confidence and motivation and inspiration to keep moving forward towards the big vision is important because procrastination and indecision are cycles of self-sabotage. So yes, we keep our eye and our heart on the big vision. We also get super clear on what we're not available for and moving forward who we are becoming. And if those decisions along the way, if the people in our life are not there to support us, if our words are not supporting us to moving towards that vision, if we're spending our time doing things that are not supporting us to move into the version of ourselves that we want to become, then we're just kind of Floating back and forth. I don't like to use the word wasting time anymore. That was something that I used to say. I used to have a really unhealthy relationship with time. I was raised in a family where if you were on time, you were late. And so my relationship with time has really evolved. And until a few years ago, I really realized in all of the work that I've done with myself and with my clients and that everything is in co-creation and relationship that if we are the source of our gifts, we're the source of our money, we're the source of our time, then we get to choose. We get to choose what we do with our time. So if you find yourself constantly creating the to-do list of the to-do list, Focusing on the schedule, writing the to-do list of things that need to get done and don't get done. If they're not getting done, maybe ask if they're still important and need to be prioritized. Is it time to let those things go? Is it time to let go of control? 
if you have children, my girls at today are 14 and 17. And I've been experiencing some freedom, but also some discomfort in the amount of freedom that they want and need as they get older. And realizing there's this period of discomfort of like, oh my gosh, I don't, once they get their license, I don't have to drive them everywhere anymore. I don't have to do their laundry. I don't have to make appointments and phone calls for them anymore. And when we invite them in to do this, we increase their confidence. So where in your life are you willing to create more space and freedom for the things that you love? Where are you over-managing your time? Do you see that you are in time management mode or time creation? If you're a manifesting generator in human design, if you're familiar with human design, it's, it's something I've been offering my clients since 2016, and it's becoming more popular these days. I'm a manifesting generator. Manifesting generators are known as time benders. We are multi-talented, multitaskers, and we are able to get a lot more done than the average person. The trick is doing it in alignment with less energy. Because when you're in alignment, you don't get burned out or exhausted. So I invite you to take these questions with you and sit with them. I have a book journal. I created a book and a journal together because I know that a lot of times we buy a book and then it sits on our nightstand. So I created a book and a journal together so that it is very interactive. And the first month, you don't have to start with where where you can start in the first month. It's a 12-month journal. Every month has a theme. And January is creating sacred space. And it is to help you heal your relationship with time. So if you like this conversation, and of course, there are 11 other months that will invite you to heal your relationship with your health, your body, your nutrition, your shadow work, money, joy, relationships, your dream life. Journaling is an amazing way to facilitate gentle healing. If you like this conversation about time, I would invite you to check out my journal. We'll put the link in the show notes. It's called 13 Moons. It's a feminine approach to daily devotion and cyclical living. And so it's a really wonderful way to redefine your relationship with time because it's all about living cyclically based on your energy versus living within the constraints of cultural demands of a 24-hour day that we have been led to believe is how we're supposed to live. And if you're looking to expand your life in abundance more freedom, more clarity, more ease, more confidence, then I would invite you to the retreat in Jacksonville Beach, November 2nd and 3rd, Wellness, Wisdom, and Wealth, where we will go beyond your dreams and create a magical experience through embodiment, through empowerment. When I tell you these retreat experiences are amazing, I've been doing them for nine years We will embody your values, your dreams. We'll get super clear. We'll do some shadow work. We'll have breakthrough moments. You're going to connect. You're going to be vulnerable. You're going to move. You're going to have fun. You're going to laugh. You're going to cry. And then we're going to lay it all on the table and we're going to start mapping out your passion project, your dream, heal your relationship to money. All of that in two days in Jacksonville Beach, Florida. We'll drop that link in the show notes as well. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you again next week. And thanks for joining the show. The content of this podcast is to educate, inspire, and inform you of pathways to an embodied healing self. It is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice from your medical doctor, therapist, registered dietitian, or nutritionist for any questions you may have regarding your diagnosis or condition. 
friends, and thank you so much for joining again each week on the Body and Soul Wisdom Podcast, formerly the Embodied Healing Self Podcast. I am so deeply honored to share this space with you every week. I know that there are many other podcasts that you could be tuning into, and our community is expanding and growing more with each new episode. I'd like to invite you to come on over to genmons.com forward slash tribe and receive some of the wonderful gifts that we have for you, a meditation bundle, energetic alignment, five element wealth, prosperity, consciousness. We have a ton of different gifts available for you to enjoy. Now, we have one small favor to ask. In order for this podcast to get into the hearts and souls of like and light minded people, we need your support. We would love your review and would love it if you'd head on over to genmons.com forward slash podcast to leave a review or leave one on iTunes so that we can continue to share the love beyond out into the world. Thank you so much again for joining in. We'll see you next week.